On the workbench tonight, we have this 56 centimeter LCD panel. This came out of a Median television. Hideously cheap thing. The high voltage power supply was bad. It would always turn off after a while. This screen still has CCFL lighting. So it has uh, no LEDs for the backlight. If it had LEDs, you could actually make something out of it. So we are going to tear this screen apart. And for that, we need to flip it around. And as we flip it around, we can also see that this was made by Samsung. It is the LTM220M1-L01. Here we have the connections for the uh, lighting, for the backlight. And it seems like there are tabs all around on the edge that we have to pry apart. And then it should be fairly easy to take this thing apart. I was first thinking I'd had to use a Dremel tool to get it apart. Anyway, I'm thinking we'll probably also have to take off this. Screws are out. Let's see if we can pull this off. We should be able to. Yeah, there, there it goes. Okay. Under the panel we find a bunch of electronics. The LVDS connector comes in up there. This is what connects the screen to the rest of the TV. And then I guess this is all just a bunch of multiplexing. And then of course we have all the connectors up here that then will lead to each individual pixel on this panel. So we ain't gonna need that anymore, I don't think. They didn't even use any plugs on this. This is just, I don't know, is this glued on? It's not soldered on, it just seems to be glued on. Yep, it sure is. Just like some sticky tape. <laughs> Let's begin and pry those tabs apart. We should be able to, uh... oh yes, it uh... shouldn't be too hard to get the framework apart. Just need a bunch more screwdrivers. <laughs> ah, there we go. Seems to pop apart. Alrighty. Oh yes. Okay, so that was easy. No need to get out the Dremel tool. So this frame can... Uh, Actually, I might be able to make something out of that frame. The first, the outer layer, that appears to be glued in place. Huh. So, well, that's interesting. This is obviously the LCD screen itself. And wow, got a nice, this is like a mirror in the back. No, this is not glass. This is some plastic for sure. So this the this outer part looks like it could come off if it wanted to. As far as I know, this should be a polarizing filter. No, this uh, this is very much glued in place. It is somewhat translucent, transparent, as you can see. Of course it has to be, because uh, there is a backlight behind. So we're going to put this to the side. And what do we have now? We have a nice white surface, and I guess if the high voltage part would work in the TV, we could power this up and get a really nice light. But of course... The high voltage part is fut, so that's not going to work. So, okay, so it seems like we have another frame around this. This time a plastic frame. This has the wiring for the fluorescence in it. You might be able to see that. And... 
Well, it is coming off. Well, maybe we can get somewhere with that thing still in place. Ah, there we go. Here we have a nice foil. Not sure what this would do. Once again, it's kind of like a mirror. It's, you know, it's partly transparent, but it also reflects quite a bit. Ooh, that's a really funky filter right there. Look at that. <laughs> Eh, it doesn't really look that great on camera. If you put it in front of your eyes, that's looking really funky. Okay, so uh, we'll keep that. This appears to be the plastic diffuser. Or actually, is there another? Oh, there is. Yep, there is another. This is, yeah, this is a classic diffuser. And this was actually uh, back when I restored my Marantz receiver and I replaced the diffuser paper in the dial. Somebody suggested that I take one of these foils out of a television, use that as a diffuser. It's definitely a good idea. So, for that purpose, I will keep this. And now... Might not be able to really see that because it's white. But this is now a clear block of plastic. And it seems like we have our fluorescence in the top and the bottom. The wires connecting these fluorescents are quite solid. Okay, so basically in order to get this plastic out of here, I think we need to get rid of this uh, metal frame all around. Oops! Okay. That was the tube. Maybe we can get this out without breaking the tubes. I don't really want to expose myself to all the chemicals in there. Yeah, well, we can get this off. Okay, so we now have, yep, that, that fluorescent down in there is definitely toast. Oh, there are actually, there are two fluorescents in there. I'll take care of that later. So, uh, we now have this, this is definitely the, uh, most of the weight that's in this screen. These are some sharp edges. We'll put that into the trash where it belongs. And we now have this block of uh, or this uh, board. That's definitely a keeper. It is not 100% transparent. It has like a, a dot structure on the back. I guess that's also uh, helping with diffusing the light across the screen. So that's this uh, piece of uh, plexiglass. It's definitely going to be handy for something. And so at this point, we're only left with this part of the screen. With this, uh, this is a uh, nice white piece of plastic all the way at the back. We're able to take out the, uh, the fluorescent tubes what remains of those much rather and now now you should be able to see it pretty well there are two of these things they are quite thin in fact they are thin enough that i can uh, i can bend these with my hand as you can see so those are the fluorescents right there and let me get those out of the way i don't want those to break any more than they already are Ah, uh, okay. Glued in place, but uh, we can get it out. So here we have a white foil. And that is the last layer. This is, uh, oh, glass all over myself. Uh, this is the back. Some really, really flimsy, thin 
metal. Absolutely, absolutely no quality in this. So to quickly recap, interesting parts that we got out of this screen. We got a metal frame, that should be good for something. We have a piece of white foil. We have this plexiglass board, a diffuser, and this funky thing. That's the end of this video. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.